Many seasoned educators and administrators have had occasion, sometimes many occasions, to be in IEP meetings where the parents are represented by either counsel or by an advocate. In some parts of this country, it's, it's very common. And what I've found over the years is how you respond to that situation can make or break the next step in the process. Because if a parent has hired someone to assist them in the process, chances are good there's some aspect of their child's program with which they're unhappy or very concerned. It could be a case that's leading to litigation. And if the way you react to them taking that step to which they are legally entitled is to get incredibly defensive, retaliate against them, treat them differently, be very rude to them or to their advocate, what you need to understand is that that advocate and that attorney is speaking on behalf of the parent. And when you're rude to their advocate or their attorney, you're being rude to the parent. And you know, so many times um, I've had people make comments to me where they'll say, excuse me, but we'd like the parents to ask, answer the mm -hmm. question. To which I say, well, you know, I've had many conversations prior to this meeting with the parents where they've asked me to be the one speaking on their behalf. It's often because the parents are nervous, they don't feel confident in what they need to say, and they've asked me or somebody in Jen's role, a grandmother, a grandfather, or whomever they bring, to help them. And so while that might seem threatening to school staff, please don't be threatened by it. That's usually because the parents have made that choice and not because the advocate or the attorney just like to hear themselves talk. Well, you know, I mean, and I'm not saying that there are no people out there who might be unfortunately unprofessional advocates or attorneys. Of course, in any profession, you're gonna have some bad apples. We get that. But stop and think from a logical perspective. Do you actually think that the parents have hired an attorney to come to their child's IEP meeting to make stuff up, to just out of nowhere say, there must be some aspect of your program that you're unhappy with, but you just, you know, I'm just gonna make it up. Let me just say that you don't really like this summer program or let me just say that you don't really like this service. Of course not. We're not in the business of making this stuff up. We confer with our clients, they tell us what they're looking for and we try to put it into a way that complies with the law and with the system. And so you have to respect at least that, that the parent has brought in somebody to assist them in the process and don't get so defensive.